Hi, I'm Nikki. I'm Sophie. I'm Adrian. And this is Natural Birth Basics. Basics. We are here to teach you something new that you maybe didn't know before. And that is all about placentas. So we're going to call this tour of a placenta. Basically, a placenta is something that grows inside of a mommy's tummy when she's pregnant with a baby. The placenta is very, very important because the baby can't grow without it. When a mommy eats something, it comes down into her tummy and into the placenta. She gets some nutrients for her to grow and the baby gets some nutrients for it to grow. Yes. So does it like stick on the side of the tummy? It sticks on the side of the inside of the uterus, which is a giant ball of salt water. It's like a big soft balloon full of salt water. And the placenta is attached to the wall of the uterus and grows as the baby grows. So it starts out as tiny and grows big. Yes, Adrian. So is the uterus kind of like a giant water balloon? Yes, it's exactly like a giant water balloon, which means it's also very safe for the baby and the placenta inside of the mommy. Because water balloons have equal pressure and when you bump it, it doesn't feel very bad to the baby. So now the um, picture over here is teaching us that the placenta has a cord that is like the roots going into it and that's what feeds the baby to grow big like a plant or a tree. So the cord is very important which connects to the babies. Okay, so it starts it here and then goes all the way down to its belly button. Into the belly button. And that is very important because that is the only way that the baby breathes and eats when it's inside of a mommy's tummy is through the cord. Yeah, so when the mom eats, it goes through her yep. and goes to the baby. Right through the placenta and the cord into the baby's belly button. All right, so the placenta is very important. So now we have a placenta that I brought home from a birth because I'm a, a, a birth assistant. So sometimes I get to go to births and I get to take placentas home so that the mom can eat it in a placenta vitamin. I make placenta vitamins and then the mom can eat it because mammals, oh, a lot of mammals eat their placenta, especially when they come from an extremely healthy mom. Um, we like to see moms who are using essential oils and exercising and getting plenty of sunlight and they have a good healthy routine and they're eating and they're eating all whole foods and that leads to a placenta that looks like this, which is a beautiful placenta. I brought the placenta home in a Tupperware container and then also in a Ziploc bag. And then you really wanna make sure that you write the last name of the mom and the date on there because you might have more than one placenta in your fridge and that would be really bad if you mixed up mommy placenta with another mommy, wouldn't it? So today to do our placenta tour, we needed to bring some supplies. What kind of supplies do we need, kids? Ooh, Ooh. I know. What? We need to, to bring a little pad. A so pad, oh, yeah, a splatter yeah. pad. Adrian? We need to have something to put the placenta in. Right, we brought the container to put it and in. And we need a glove so we don't get our hands all dirty. That's right. Gloves are important because this is very um, important because this is someone else's, what we call, it's a biological matter. It's basically something that came from someone's body like blood or snot. So we want to make sure we wear gloves if we're touching it, right? <laughs> yeah, but it's not, it's not gross. It's just something came from someone's body. So the placenta is in a pie pan and it's about the size of a pie pan most of the time, but it can be smaller and it can be bigger. Yep. Or it could be a circle, but right now it's like kind of like an oval because there's still room. That's right. You know what? We do actually look at the shape of it. It is actually pretty close to a circle and a little bit oval, oval and circle. And what did we find here in the middle? The umbilical cord. That's the umbilical cord. This is the baby's cord and it went right into the baby's belly button. button. Okay. So this is our umbilical cord and this was, this was a long one. It looks really nice. Um, the next thing that we have, and just so you know, we're looking at the placenta from the baby side. So this is what the baby saw right up against here. Now, the, 
tree. A tree of life. That's right. Make sure you say that loud. Was it? What is it? It's the life of tree. No, it's the, the tree, tree of, of life. life. <laughs> um, the tree of life is a really unique pattern of blood vessels and veins that go through the placenta. Yeah, and it looks just like a tree. And then the umbilical cord is its stem. It's a trunk or a stem. That's exactly right. So it starts here on this placenta. But guess where the cord can be on someone else's placenta? Anywhere it wants. Yeah. Right, right, right it could be anywhere. Right there, right there. And the tree of life would look would it look the same on someone else's? Yeah. No. No. Nope. They're nope. always unique. They're never the same. Nice. Oh, keep your hand close to the bowl and close your fist. There you go. When we're um, touching something like this, you don't want to wave your hands around. You want to keep your hand kind of low down yeah, and just don't move it around a lot. We want to make sure that we keep everybody safe around the placentas. I flip the placenta over now and I'm going to show you the amniotic sac. These are the membranes that hold the amniotic fluid and that fluid is like a salt water that's inside of a balloon. And this is the baby's balloon. And this is where the baby burst right through. This is the hole the baby's head made. Okay. So yeah, you want to get really close up and look inside of it, Daddy. All the way in. It's a very, very, very cool thing to look inside of. Can I touch it? Yep, you can touch it. You just want to make sure then you keep your hand nearby and close your fist. It is cool. Don't break it. It's very soft and what does it feel like? It feels like rubber. I think it feels like silk. I don't know. It feels like like leaves or something. Oh my goodness. So now we turn it inside out and the baby was inside of here and the cord got tucked in here also in this strong bag. Now what is the other side now? Look the at that. The other side is um Ooh, like it's very fragile. Okay. Here's the, the other, other side. The other side is like this and then there's a bunch of like little cracks. Cracks and ridges. Yep. Mm -hmm. and, and sometimes there's like one of these little things missing. Yep, and we always want to check just to make sure because we don't want a mom to get infection if she has a little bit left stuck inside of her. So it's stuck inside of the mom, but when it comes out after the baby, it comes out because there's a big blood scab that forms on the back of it. It's actually called a blood clot. Yeah, here's a little clot that we have some left over. Yeah, Adrian? No, it doesn't. Oh, keep your hand closed. No, doesn't nearby. this look like a brain? Your yes, this side is the side that Adrian thinks looks like a brain. Absolutely. And this side was attached to the inside of the mom, and when it breaks away, she bleeds. And that's why we see moms bleeding. But as long as she takes her time and no one pulls on the cord and it slowly breaks away, it's able to have a big giant clot that forms all over it to keep it from bleeding too much. And so we like to see moms who are nursing their babies take their time getting the placenta out so it has time to detach. And... So are there, let's look at it like they normally do that. Right so we're looking there. for a piece missing maybe? It's right there. It looks different, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, that's not normal. So that is actually a piece that I cut off the placenta right after the birth because this mom wanted to have a placenta smoothie. A smoothie. And it's about a quarter size chunk that we rinse off really good and blend it up with some fruit and some kefir and some raw honey. And she drank her smoothie right down. Why did you think she might like to eat a little chunk of her placenta right away? What do you think? Because it, it can, can stop from pain afterwards. Yep, the after pains of labor and sometimes it can help her with her bleeding. And when she has some nutrients right away after birth, her body is able to work better to stop bleeding and to get her uterus shrink back down to its normal size. Uteruses are normally the size of a pear, but when the placenta and a whole baby grow inside of them, how big do they get? Really big. Like the size of a, a watermelon or a soccer ball? Yeah. Yeah. And so the placenta comes out and then the uterus is able to shrink back down to the size of about a grapefruit and then a few days later, it'll get back down to the size of a pear. So this placenta has to be born after a baby every time. So, we talked about our placenta and we took a look at it, and now we're gonna take our gloves off very carefully, turning them inside out, and go wash your hands right away. Yep, very carefully. Okay, all right, go wash your hands right away. <laughs> Good. So this is our placenta. Um, we don't know for sure 
all of the benefits of consuming a placenta, but we know that it feels right to us and that our instincts tell us that it's okay to do that, especially when we're really healthy and low risk. We also know that there is no evidence saying that it's bad. So I'm Nikki. I'm Sophie. And this is Natural Birth Basics. Basics. And this is a series of educational videos geared for ages 7, seven to, 12. to 12. And we would like you to come back again next week when we do another topic for you. And subscribe. Subscribe. Or give a thumbs up. Or give a thumbs up. <laughs> okay, say bye. Bye. <laughs> See you later.